hello everyone how are you all doing today my greetings to you on today's menu is this peanut butter soup recipe stay tuned to the end of this video to see how i make it and if you haven't yet or already please subscribe to my channel and support your girl like comment and share as you can see in this video the soup is amazingly looking beautiful and you know it tastes delicious as well and here are my ingredients here i've got some dry fish herring catfish and then i've got some shaki already cooked and my stockfish soaked and then i've got cloves of garlic and some herbs here and then aniseed cloves and some fish salt taste pepper maggi cube bay leaves and onions i'll be listing everything down below in the description box and here i've got some tomato paste okra and fresh tomato so i'm just gonna go ahead and blend my peanut butter with onion and tomato Peanut butter soup is cooked in different ways. Sometimes I just go directly mixing the butter with um, tomato paste and with some water and just cooking it on the heat until the oil rises or the oil separates. And you know, if, as you can see the oil on the surface. But in this recipe, I'm going ahead to blend it with this um, onion and tomato before I use it. And I've already blended my uh, spices and onion that I'm using for the meat. So I'm just sieving that to get a smooth consistency. And once that is done, I'm going to place it on the heat and cook it for about 20 to 30 minutes on a low heat and consistently stirring it. Peanut butter is easy to burn, so bear that in mind and make sure you stir it often. So as you can see, it's very smooth. So here's my meat. I'm just going to uh, add my ingredients now. I've added my bay leaf and uh, star anise and then my blended mixture. Then I'm going to add about one teaspoon of salt to taste as well. And my stockfish. I've been kind of, I've soaked my stockfish like a day before because it can be really hard. And I am adding it to this initial bit so it can soften any feather. I'm going to cook this in its own juice for about 10 minutes and then go in and add my stock and the shaki. And I'll be adding some water as well. So I'm adding the stock and some water and then I'll add the shaki and just cook it for or steam it on medium low for about 20 minutes i've realized that here in the uk the goat meat can be really hard i don't know if anyone else has realized that too if you have comment down below in the description box but um, i'm not cooking it too long because i am also going to cook it in the soup and i don't want it to be too soft i don't like a meat that is too soft at all and I don't want it too hot, so I just want like a medium in the middle. And I've added my tripe or shaki as well. It's pre-cooked, as I said in the beginning, but it's not entirely cooked. I only sort of purboil it for about a few minutes and then um, kept it to use later. That is just to make my cooking process less prolonged. And now I'm just going to simmer for 20 minutes and also i am going to then remove my goat meat once it's ready and then put it in the oven to brown for about 20 minutes that's how i wanted it in this recipe and again it's optional so yeah and here just checking on my peanut butter as you can see the oil is starting to separate and I will leave it a little bit longer then I will transfer it into my pot and then I went ahead to add my stock from the meat and two tomatoes and one onion and then I'm adding my tomato paste at this point 
so i'm going to bring that to a boil and this is how my meat is looking after 20 minutes so as you can see it's boiling fine and beautifully i'm doing that on a medium heat once the tomatoes and the onion are soft enough i'm going to blend it and then transfer it back into the pot so i'm gonna go ahead and remove the onion and tomatoes i'll blend it and then i'll sieve it and then put it back in the pot So I have now blended and sieved it and I'm just gradually adding it to the soup. I am now going to add the meat, the tripe, and all the fish. And if today is your first time joining me on my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. So when I upload any video, you'll be the first to be notified. So as you can see, I've added the tripe and the goat meat. I'm now adding my herring and the catfish fillet so i'm just mixing that together then i'm going to cover and leave it to cook for a few more minutes then i will go in and add my soft fish for last and my okra and i'll be adding some onions as well so i'm just adding the fish now And I'll add some diced onions, red onions, and lastly the okra. You can add garden egg as well, but I'm just adding okra to this soup. And as you can see, the soup is just beautiful to look at. So I'm adding the okra and also I don't know about you but I've just realized that each time I buy um, hot pepper, scotch bonnet pepper, they come different ways or they come differently. Sometimes they are hot and sometimes they are not. I've just sometimes when I use just one in my soup it can be really hot and sometimes two is not even enough. And um, I thought one was enough for this soup but I ended up adding another one so to accompany that i'm having this chapati or chapati i, I don't even know how to pronounce it um swallow with it and to make it i bring water to a boil like you can see now i'm boiling my water i'm boiling about 500 ml of water and you can season the water with some salt if you want and basically any swallow that i have to make in this nature i always make sure i make like a porridge for the base so it doesn't um, get lumpy or um i don't know i've always just learned it this way and i feel like this is the best way for me to cook it but i've always made anything like semolina or anything like pounded yam pounded yam is not a Ghanaian food but i make it this way and i found that is the best way for me so um i mean you just need to find the best way for you to to make it and also if you haven't had chapati swallow yet you should definitely try it it's good for your stomach and it's also very healthy to eat as a type of swallow so i'm just mixing that into my 
hot water and making sure I stir it well to avoid any lumps and also the reason why you should make your chapati this way is because it can be quite sticky so um, making it directly with a hot water may um, may cause a lot of lumps or may yeah you may have a lot of lumps in it so i'm just adding that now in gradually and then um, mixing it and folding it together you need to consistently do that if not again you're going to have lumps and do it on a low heat and then i'm just kneading it against the pot so the water that i've just taken out of the pot i'm still going to add it back onto my chapati to cook it so it's not all wasted and also that's how, why i like doing it that way so i don't have to add water to it if you get what i mean And now I'm adding back the water onto my chapati and I'm just going to cover and let it cook. I'm going to cover and simmer for about uh, 5 to 6 minutes. So as you can see it's boiling well and now I'm going to go and just um fold it around mix it in with the water or with the porridge and i have the heat back to uh, medium by the way I only reduce the heat for the initial bit so I don't get burned and also I don't want it to be to go boiling too much because if you do that then again you will have lump because then the, the heat is too much for the for what you're doing so I'm just kneading it And I'm just tasting it <laughs> it's very soft nice and beautiful and so I've covered to cook for a few more minutes and I'm now still kneading it against the pot and it's ready my chapati swallow is ready you can have your soup with anything um you do have with soup though you can have it with rice ball you can have it with just white rice you can have it with wache ball or uh, beans and rice ball or you can have it with pounded yam any swallow so i'm just now going to portion my swallow to the size that i can afford or i can handle or to the size that my stomach can handle <laughs> so guys if you like my video thumbs up for me subscribe share and please 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 don't forget to turn that notification bell on so when i upload any video you'll be the first person to be notified I do really appreciate that you've taken your time to come to my channel and watch my videos and I thank you so much. I am looking forward to having you back in my next video and so bye bye for now. I am going to enjoy my food on my Sunday afternoon. What are you eating this afternoon? Comment down below in the description box. Bye bye for now.